Hi everyone, I'm Nikki, this is Lee, and we just bought a new house. Good morning, this is the start for the day. <laughs> Good morning from the house. We are back and we are destroying more things. Slightly worrying. So this is all the rotten floor down here. So we're cutting out that piece to see what's underneath it. And we're probably gonna have to knock this wall down today and this wall. Got him. That was a tough piece of uh, wood to get out of there, huh? Tough piece of rotten wood. Oh my gosh. That is beyond what I expected to be rotten. Last night we took down the other wall, which led to taking this piece of timber off. Really opened up a rabbit hole here. You can see how rotten this wood is. That's actually the beam and it's completely rotten underneath. It's like paper just falling apart. So yeah, a rabbit hole have opened up, can of worms. It has to be dealt with actually. We were just gonna leave it and thought, you know, we'll fix it when we do the kitchen later on, but it looks like it's so bad, we have to do it now. And these are the extra surprises and extra costs that pop up when you're renovating and you peel back layers. Uh, this one has to come out. It has to come think, out. But you know, this wall is resting on that. Yeah. I think it's better to remove that wall. Yeah, both. Cause that's a big heavy wall on, yeah. a, on a rotten beam. Glasses over there. Oh, Oh yeah, my goggles. I must have left them down there at one point. This is lead, yes. Well, I've already cut that off from here. That actually yeah. came up here. Um, Henny said we need to put a cap on that. No, you have to remove it. But it's connected to the plastic under, under there. I'm gonna get you a torch down there. <coughs> All right, you should have some light there. Is that other beam there rotten above your head? This one is rotten, this and, one. And the next one? Yeah. So you, you think that's why it's like a, no, a sunk, sunken floor is because it's so heavy and that yeah. thing's broken. That is so dangerous there. That is just completely <laughs> broken off. Thank you. All right, give me the grinder. Okay, I'll give you the grinder. Yeah, cut them off. These are just hanging loose under here in the basement. Okay, he's gonna cut these copper pipes off. All right. That sounds like more rotten timber. Oh my god, I think we've opened up Pandora's box. It was already open. It was already <laughs> Well, yeah, the, the good news is we got some more uh, more money here. This should, pa this should pay for the beams, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's another one for you. Scope again. Copper, yep. Yeah. There's an extra little bit too, see? Okay. Green. Money. Money, money, money. Should be funny. Who knows what other pipes we can cut off down there, you know? There's ones over on that far wall there, I think, uh, not being used, that used to go to the radiator in that corner, I think. Yeah, it's going outside, two pipes. Yeah, not that one, but the one on the left. What? Oh, yeah, okay, that's probably because we jacked it up the other day. He's probably come loose a bit, you know? A bit. Me and Hanny jacked up the floor the other day. Yeah. So these bulks are loose. Okay. So what have we got to do then, Peter? Knock this wall down. Knock the walls down. Remove the rotten beam. This one is going all the way to the other side. And what is this beam? From one side of the house to the other. Yep. Glad we spotted it now then, huh? At least now we know. I don't think it's rotten over there. I think it's only rotten this part. I wonder how it got rotten here. Like, one, why does one beam get rotten? Oh, the toilet. It must have been leaking. Yeah, I think so. It's been uh, rotting for a long time. Well, that's an eventful start for the morning, isn't it? Walk in here, two seconds later i've got to replace a beam under the house knock down three walls i thought i was going to be here for an hour today wrong I think so. another day another full van well the good news peter we've got some copper cable to pay <laughs> copper pipe to pay for all this <laughs> oh man what a mess though that is just totally broken off yeah it's completely rotten i'm gonna have to knock some walls down then without breaking this gas pipe i think that's easy yeah yeah i think so the last time this old wall 
on that side just <laughs> went down. And so I'm actually worried about the electrics too. Because like, when uh, that falls down... Yeah, but the electricity falls, is stuck on this one. It's stuck on that one. Yeah, this board is stuck on this one. Yeah, when that falls down, it's gonna. What have we done? What have we done? <laughs> what have you bought? <laughs> what have I bought? Yeah, yeah, if it's line. finished, then it's a palace. If it's finished, they say it's a palace. It's up to you. <laughs> That's on your shoulders. Yeah. I feel the weight. <laughs> the weight. So it looks like my job for the day is more trips to the dump. I've got to take all of this stuff here. I'm gonna cut up this pallet. These two pallets you can actually get money for. This is all gyp rock and things like that. So that's all going in the camper. Then I've got all of this here, which is all timber. So I've got to fit all of that and that in there again. And then after that, I've got to come back and knock down three concrete walls. So it's gonna be a busy day. Let's get to it. Woo! Here we go again, another full van. Have a look at that, so much wood. There's even more over this side. Here I've got the chip rock, then I've got the extra wood. And then over here, I've got the extra, extra wood. So another full van before we can even knock down three walls of concrete. This poor van and this poor me. Let's get going. We are back from the first trip to the dump spot. I have to crawl over here every time. I can see some uh, broken bricks on the ground. Let's see some broken bricks. I can hear noises. What is going on in here? Oh, I hear noises. Walls are coming down. Look at that. Walls are down. Straight into the action. I'll get some buckets. There. There we go, got him, he's free. You're not gonna use any gas now? Not, no. not right now, no. We can take it off. Yeah, okay, yeah. So how do you, what are you gonna do? Turn it off over at the oven? No, there. Okay, so you guys have uh, already booked me another trip back to the dump. I've only been here two minutes. Stop making that noise, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're making me nervous. <laughs> There's no power behind it. No? Oh, that's good. How far are we going now? We're so deep in that it looks like the kitchen's gonna go now. No. No, no. no. Only, only, only this and this, and then we can build it. Okay, so this one's going, that one goes. What about that one? That is, oh, okay, that's this wall here. So it's this whole... The whole corner. Yeah. The whole corner. Yeah, why not? It's easy to build from wood, eh? Okay, it's easy to build from wood. You heard it here first. Yeah. <laughs> I hope far, so. You see how far it's going? Yeah, you see how fast it goes. That's true. It is just a bit of a worry with uh, how deep we're getting. It's like, oh man, do we just knock the kitchen down now? It doesn't have to uh, go down. No? Just new gas pipes in there. Yeah. So who, who do you get to make one like this for the gas pipes? They use new one. New yeah, one. but who does that? Like a plumber or a plumber? A, a plumber does it. We don't it. have a plumber yet. No. We have to get a plumber. Oh, yep. Yeah. Tiles. Another night on the tiles. You guys are doing it way smarter than me. Just le leave them outside the buckets. I'll carry them in. Oh, this is great to see someone else load some tire <laughs> into the van. Oh, I take pleasure in that. Here we go all the way down the oh, back. You love it, eh? oh, I won't leave you do it for too long. I'll help you. I'm very experienced at this. That one, not so much. The whole house is being destroyed as we copper. speak. Oh, copper. That's not all bad then. That's money. I'll put him over here with the other, the other bits down there. Look at all this rubble here. I kind of feel a bit relieved that Nikki's not here right now. Have a look at the state of the kitchen. That's that's the... Uh, yeah, what, what would you like to order for uh, lunch, Peter? Bobby Pungung! <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what he just said. Bobby Parang. <laughs> Bobby Parang. What is that? This is like a Chinese restaurant. A Chinese restaurant. When you order it, then you yeah. can take it away. What's Bobby Parang then? Bobby Parang. Bobby Parang. Bobby Parang. Bobby Parang. What is that? That's, uh, that's meat. <laughs> it's meat. Okay. That's meat in, in okay. Sauce. Bobby Parang. Next time you go to a restaurant, order that. And you'll get meat. Keep getting me, Bobby and Bobby Parang. <laughs> You're making me hungry. Yeah. I never thought it would come to this. Yeah. Not once. 
Can we put uh, all the stuff in your car? Yes, okay. And that, do that tomorrow morning. Yeah, I maybe have time to do that tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah, if I get time. Yeah, let's load it. If you got time. Yeah, okay. Otherwise, we do it tomorrow morning. Yeah, can't believe I've got some people helping me load the van. This is my favorite day of the renovation so far. Oh my gosh, I've been doing this by myself the whole time. Happy boy! Yeah, and now with two two very strong men helping me. Look at that, we got it done. A full load. There we go. A full load done in a short amount of minutes. So I'm loaded in the back. I'm loaded in the side. And I'm loaded in the front. This is great. So I'm gonna go drop this off to the dump. And then I'm gonna come back by myself and knock this one down and fill it with buckets. That's awesome. Whoop. <laughs> Fancy seeing you guys here at the dump again. Ugh. Our local hotspot, huh? So that's the uh, dump. And now I'm gonna go to a shop because I've taken a chip off the bricks from the front. They're gonna have to replace the metal um, above the window and that's called a latte. And that means they've got to smash some bricks out and we need to replace some. So these are pretty rare, so fingers crossed. We can find a match at the store. Okay, we are back at the house and Nikki's here and I've got a brick, hopefully that matches it. And I'm wondering what Nikki's gonna think of the kitchen now we've destroyed it. We've destroyed the kitchen, Nikki. The kitchen is destroyed, that's for sure. Quite a shock, Nikki. Yeah. You don't know what to say. Well, I don't really know what to do, you know, because the idea was to basically leave the kitchen. Yeah. But now that basically half of the kitchen is gone, like we have another fridge at home, which we're probably gonna bring. Right. Which is a bit more modern. We have another stove, which is definitely more modern. Definitely more modern. Doesn't work on gas, so it's an induction stove. And it's actually really good. So the idea was to replace those two, but now this whole thing can basically be replaced. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not sure what to do here, you know? Yeah, it's almost like we could we could do the whole kitchen or something like that. Yeah, it almost feels like it's a bit of a waste to build this all up again with old stuff. Well, this fridge is actually probably better than our fridge. It's newer. You think? Yeah. Our fridge is like two years old. Yeah, but this one doesn't look old at all. Good brand. It's about the same size. Yeah, it doesn't look old. So it looks pretty good. The oven also doesn't look old. No, um, it's definitely still, it's still definitely, you know, good to use. It's clean. So what the plan was, though, they, they're literally just going to knock this wall, wall out that wall, and just build it back the way it was. But now that it's out, it's like, you know, what do we do? Do we do the whole kitchen as well? Because that's a lot of money. So we just don't have that money now. Also, we're getting the quote for the bricks. But now that I look at this, I haven't seen this yet. This is really nice. Having it open like that. Yeah, I love that. I'm actually really exhausted today. So exhausted from lifting the bricks out, but the guys helped me knock down the wall and I swear to God, we did it in two minutes, put it all in the car. What took me an hour and a half yesterday, it took five minutes with three people. He's been working very, very hard. Yeah, on the house, but no, so, no, so no, is Nikki on the other channel. But I did bring a brick here to show you, Nikki, and I'm hoping uh, that it's the right one. So let's find the brick. Here is the brick. Now the brick shape is uh, called the Vecht, which is the name of a river in the Netherlands where they got the clay out of it. And um, I didn't know that. Yeah, <laughs> okay, there you go. So, and our house is made out of those bricks from that canal. So okay. it's, a, it's a very local house, but they're really hard to get. Yeah, they're basically not made anymore. And it's a natural product, so the color varies a lot. And also the front of our house is much darker than the sides of our house, which are undercover. So let's put it up against it and see what it looks like. It's not quite the same but not too bad either. The, see, the difference between these ones, these are, I think, handmade bricks, and these ones are form bricks, and because they put them in a mold, they cover them in, cover them in this sand, right? And that's why it's like a pinkish kind of color sand. I'm not too sure if you can see it in the light, but the color of the brick is almost identical. Like, if you go like that, it's so similar on the camera. Yeah, it's not bad. Like, if you stand back here, Nikki, it looks identical. Here, you stand back there and have a look through the camera, or? Yeah, it looks almost the same. It's, um, ju it's just that sand that's on top. Yeah, if we can get it without the sand or if it's just a clear sand. But the thing is, they custom make them. You have to order them by the pallet. We need 100 bricks. The pallet comes with 540 bricks. They're a euro 50 per brick. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These ones you can see are much dirtier here. Yeah, if we replace that, all the all the ones up there, that's gonna stand out a lot. Yeah. 
But the other thing she said she could do is you could order these bricks and then do a feature with those ones up there where you're replacing it. So that's all the rubble bricks up there that we've got to replace hanging loose because the metal piece in between called the latai has rusted and expanded and broken all the bricks. So decisions have to be made, but it's actually pretty close. I'm happy with that. I wonder if they can do something about the sand that they put it in the mold with because that actual color there without the sand is really good. It's definitely a contestant. Yeah, a contestant. It's the so far it's our only option, I think. It's the right size there, yeah. you can see. And um, yeah, so at least we've got one option. The crack actually got, got much, much worse since we got the key now almost, well, two and a half months ago. And before it was just like a little crack, but now actually the bricks are falling out. So yeah, so. <laughs> at least we've got one solution. What do you think? Should we toast these ones or should we keep looking? Oh yeah. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and here, Nikki, we have to make a decision about this door frame. So where you want it, because what we want to do is have like a wider door frame there that goes all the way to the ceiling and down. So we just have to decide on, we can move this. This can move over there a bit. Um, so we can have it over there, but it depends on how deep you want your cupboard here, Nikki. Probably ideally you'd want it to match in line with the uh, doorway entrance there. Yes, well maybe a little bit less. Then if you do do that as a toilet, that's going to make the toilet smaller. But they did say, the boys, that they could move this over there against that wall. But those, those walls were so heavy. You can see this floor here, the angle. I'll try and get the camera down low enough. Yeah, it's much lower here than it is up there. And that's because of all those concrete um, things. All right, so I think that's it for the day. <laughs> I'm glad Nikki popped in for a visit. Good to see Nikki's face. Yeah. Because <laughs> you're probably sick of my face and my ugly spots all over my face lately. But, you know, been lots of time lapses and trips to the dump. And now, if you guys got some input, let us know what you think we should do with the door frame, with the kitchen. Yeah, like all these things are Unknowns. Uh, very expensive. Yeah. What, what should we do? What should we do? I know we're, we're babbling here, we're babbling here, but this is how we get, you know, to a, a conclusion, to a decision. Should we knock the kitchen down? Should we just go for it? Or should we just patch it up, just rebuild what was there, keep it easy? Or should we maybe even extend the kitchen that way? You know what I'm saying? Okay, say that again. So the, where would the kitchen come to? Here. Let's say we would move this wall, the back wall. Yeah. From the kitchen. Yeah. Have the kitchen go all the way to here. Yeah and have a bigger kitchen. We, well, that means we'd have to move the electric, which we could do on this inside of this wall here. Under the stairs. Oh, huh? yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be a wall here. Yeah, so we could put it all under here. I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> yeah. We well, let's, what would it look like with a bigger kitchen then? So the kitchen would be coming to here, and then I think you probably still have a wall there to cover up the, the fridge or covers or whatever comes behind there. Mm -hmm. And then your kitchen is basically like, well, not quite a meter, but almost a meter wider, which could even mean that you can put the fridge in that corner. I think if we were not going to do an extension, I would like to do that maybe. Okay, decisions, decisions for us. We're going to stop yeah. babbling. Thanks for watching today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, subscribe, and we'll see you soon for more wall knocking down and more questions of unknowns. <laughs> <laughs> see you later. Bye.